too many meetings, missing too many chat messages. With Notion, there's no need to synchronize an entire team's calendar and book a conference room to get work done. You don't have to be chatting in real time to move projects forward. Just use comments and discussions. Today, I'll show you how to use Notion's collaboration features to work asynchronously with your team and what to use for general discussion versus more specific feedback. Here is a design system database that a design team could use to maintain one source of truth for creative assets like brand colors, logos, and typography. In this logos card, you can see the team's high-level commentary in this discussion section at the top of the page. These comments are very visible to anyone visiting this page, so the discussion section is best used for feedback that applies to the entire page. Use it like a mini chat room to have broader conversations about what's going on with a project. When all the logo feedback has been implemented, you can resolve a discussion using this button. But all the old comments can still be found by clicking on Resolve Discussions here. When we scroll down a bit, there's more tactical feedback as well. You can click on any of these speech bubble icons in the right margin to see your teammates' comments, or if the comment was left on a specific selection of text, you'll see it highlighted in yellow like this. Thanks to this Notion page, every stakeholder can share their thoughts on their own time, and the project lead gets the feedback they need to move forward. No need for a logo feedback meeting on the team calendar. Starting discussions and leaving your own comments is super easy. Let me show you how on this tone and voice page. To start a discussion, just click where it says add a comment and hit the send button when you're finished. Your comments will appear next to your avatar with the date and time they were added. For any page that's stored within a database, the discussion section will always appear even if there are no comments yet. For pages that aren't stored within a database, like this company homepage, the discussion section is hidden by default. But you could always get a conversation started by hovering your cursor underneath the page icon and clicking Add Discussion. If you don't add anything here, the discussion section will go away when you refresh. Let's leave some specific comments too. You can leave a comment on any block of content by clicking the six-dot icon to the left and selecting Comment. Or use the keyboard shortcut Command-Shift-M. To notify someone immediately, just type the at symbol in your comment, followed by their name. They'll receive a notification right away that they were mentioned in your comment, and can even respond directly from the All Updates menu without losing their place. But what if your feedback was about a specific word or sentence rather than the entire paragraph? Just select the text you'd like to comment on and click the comment icon in the formatting menu that appears. When you submit your comment, it'll be highlighted in yellow. One more tip that can be helpful for providing written feedback in Notion. If you have a suggestion for different wording, just type it out, highlight it, and use the formatting menu to turn your text red. For a faster workflow, you can also use the keyboard shortcut Command-Shift-H to apply your most recently used text color. Want to see a full list of all the discussions and comments that have been added to a page? Just click the Updates menu at the top right. You'll also see all edits made by who and when. That's it! By keeping the conversation flowing in Notion, you can cancel more meetings and have more time to get work done.